What good is it doing sitting vacant and abandoned on a city street to make our neighborhoods just unattractive and, and, you know, we feel bad about where we live when we look out and see all of that. Abandoned and or junk cars throughout Columbus. Police say there were more than 10,000 calls about vehicles last year. Good evening to you, everybody, and thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Carrie Charles. I'm Colleen Marshall. One of the concerns from residents and police is having all those cars sitting around. It could lead to safety problems. So new at 11, NBC4's Eric Halperin has been looking into this and tells us more about the problem. And you've been talking to people who are fed up, right? Colleen and Carrie, this is the city's 311 service request map. All of these red dots right here are abandoned call, call cars that have come in in just the past seven days alone. Take a look at the past seven days here. That was three days. This is seven days. These green dots are cars that have already been taken care of. And here's a look at the past 30 days. Again, all of those dots, abandoned car issues and police they have a new operation that they're going to be taking care of this with. A car with a flat tire, window out, and missing light. Another surrounded by leaves with a dent in the door, and another with the window out. There's uh, probably 20 to 30 in, you know, maybe a five block radius on one street. These are just some of the pictures Lisa Boggs has taken around the Hilltop neighborhood. She's lived there for more than 30 years and often works to keep the area as clean as she can. Here's another picture she took. These kids are walking past all of these broken windows and one of the one of the vehicles had a broken window that exposed all of these uh, used needles and these kids are walking past this. She's worried the abandoned cars attract crime. When when you don't have action on these things that seem small to some people, the little things become the big things. According to Columbus Police, in 2021 alone, there were 11,000 311 requests citywide about abandoned or inoperable vehicles. I make calls every week about abandoned cars. Boggs and fellow Hilltop resident Reba Schlosser say they've seen cars which haven't moved in almost two years. Sergeant James Fuqua says the cars are a quality of life issue and safety issue. After getting a noticeable amount of more complaints, police are starting Operation Broken Windows next week. The last thing we need is to have any vehicle in the literal and metaphorical sense to be somewhere where that will attract the negativity and the potential for crime to happen. Sergeant Fugo says cars police identify as abandoned will have notifications put on them so owners have at least a week to take care of them before they're towed. It's a pretty big step, I think, because that's the largest piece of trash junk to get that off the street is uh, it's huge. Again, officers will start putting notifications on cars next week. Sergeant Fuqua says the operation is going to start in the hilltop as that's where police have identified more than 100 abandoned vehicles. He also says this operation will be using community liaison officers so resources are not taken from patrol. Carrie.